Maybe sometime in the future, you'll wonder how much distance you would have saved from 20 years of taking shortcuts through the living room, instead of obediently walking down the hall and then turning left, passing and trading hateful eyes with the family cat stationed there, before you finally arrived at the kitchen. By using a bit of theory and simple multiplication, you could actually estimate the numbers and continue with your life. But to do this confidently, you need to first understand squares and square roots. Here you'll be introduced to these lovable concepts of squares and square roots. Let's jump into it and get started. First of all, what do we mean by the square of a number? In mathematics, square can possibly mean two things, a type of geometry and a product of self-multiplication. When a number is multiplied by itself, the product is known as the square of that number. For example, if we multiply the number 2 by itself, that is 2 by 2, we will get 4. Now 4 will be called the square of 2. It is written as 2 squared equals 4, which means the same as 2 times 2 equals 4. Similarly, if we multiply 4 by itself, that is 4 by 4, the product will be 16. This can also be written as 4 squared equals 16. We can say then that 16 is a square of 4. Meanwhile, square roots are the inverse operation of squaring. So, the number that is multiplied by itself is called the square root. A square root is represented by the symbol radical sign. In our previous example, 2 squared equals 4. Hence, we can say that 2 is the square root of 4, or the square root of 4 is 2. Conversely, 4 is the square root of 16. Therefore, the square root of 16 equals 4. 4 expresses that the square root of 16 is 4. Back to the shortcut. You know that the hallway is 6 meters long, while the distance from the turn to the kitchen is 8 meters. Can you tell what the square of 6 and 8 is? Exactly. The squares of 6 and 8 consecutively are 36 and 64. Thus, the shortcut distance to the kitchen is equal to the square root of the sum of 36 and 64. This yields 10 meters, which is 4 meters shorter than the usual route you walk on every day. Imagine the time and energy that you would have saved until now. In our previous video, we learned about square and square roots. We've already known that the square roots operation is the inverse of the squaring operation. For example, when you square 5, you get 25, and its square root is 5. Similarly, 7 squared is 49, therefore the square root of 49 is 7. These special numbers, like 25 and 49, are called perfect squares. Just like in life, some are perfect and some are not. A perfect square can be expressed as the product of two integers of equal value. For instance, 9 is a perfect square, because it's the result of 3 multiplied by 3. Now, to determine whether a number, namely 134, is a perfect square, check if it can be expressed as the product of two equal integers. In this case, 134 is not a perfect square, because it falls between two perfect squares, 121 from 11 square and 144 from 12 square and therefore not an integer. The square root is a decimal number, 11.576. What about the numbers 27, 73, 188, 362, 527, and 903? Are any of them perfect squares? Answer it without a calculator in under 5 seconds. Remember, in the world of perfect squares, the unit digit, or the last digit, follows specific patterns 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, or 9. However, it doesn't work in the opposite way, as seen with 79, which isn't a perfect square despite ending in 9. So, always keep in mind that if the unit digit is 2, 3, 7, or 8, the number is definitely not a perfect square. This rule applies even to larger numbers. For instance, consider the number 1,679,743. Since it ends with a 3, it's not a perfect square, which means no two integers of equal value will ever give the product as 1,679,743. All perfect squares have two sets of square roots. Consider a perfect square 81. The product 81 can be obtained by multiplying two sets of integers, 9 times 9 and minus 9 times minus 9. A positive value of 9 multiplied by itself will yield 81, just like a negative value of 9 will. Similarly, we can say that the square roots of 49 are minus 7 and plus 7. Now, let's put your knowledge to the test. Can you quickly determine if the following numbers are perfect squares? 
256, 625, 729, 972. Rely on the patterns we discussed earlier. Leave your answers in the comments below. If you enjoyed our Perfect Squares lesson, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on our next exciting lesson on how to determine the square root of a number. Thank you for your continuous support, especially our valued patrons and members who have been encouraging us to keep producing more quality content.